20 hour bus ride from Mendoza to Paridoche is sponsored by Bank of Mum and Dad. In 1995, Barry Loche made headlines when an ABC News reporter interviewed former SS officer Eric Pripke, who was second in command of the Ardiatine massacre in Rome in 1944, which killed 335 civilians. Senor Pripke, Sam Donaldson of American Television. Yes. Senor Pripke. Yes. Uh, you were in the Gestapo in 1944, were you not? In Rome? Yes, in Rome, yes. You know, the, the communists blow up the, uh, a group of our uh, German soldiers. Yes. For every German soldier, ten, ten Italians had to die. Civilians? Well, civilians, they have been, no, they have been morally uh, terrorists. But children were killed? No, not a boy. Fourteen-year-old no. boys were no, killed? No, no. But why did you shoot them? They had not done anything. Yes. You know, that was our order. You know, in the war, you know, that, 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 that kind of uh, things happened, you know. You were just following orders? Yes, of course, yes, yes. But I didn't shut anybody. But you killed civilians in the caves. No, no, no. You that told was me you were there. Thing. Yes, I was there, but that was a thing that was ordered by our command. But orders are not an excuse. Oh, well, at that time, order was an order, you mean, you see. And you carried it out. I had to carry it, you know, yes. And civilians died? Civilians died, yes. Many civilians died. On all parts of the world, still they are dying. Uh, you live in this time, but we did live in 1933. In a sense, that eh? whole Germany wasn't it. They all, they want, nobody won't speak about it now. But the most part of Germany was Nazi. Well, we didn't uh, commit a crime. We, 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 we did what we ordered us, you know. That was not a crime. That was a did you deport Jews to concentration camps? You? Me, no, you? no, nobody, no. Never? We, no, never. I never was against Jews. I'm from Berlin. We lived together in Berlin with many Jews. No, I didn't. <laughs> no. You are not a gentleman. I'm not a gentleman? Barry Loche comes from the Mapuche word Vuri Loche, which means people from behind the mountain. To understand how the Nazis came to find refuge in Barry Loche, we first have to go back to the 1870s and the conquest of the desert. The conquest of the desert was a military campaign to establish dominance over Patagonia, which was not yet part of Argentina and was still inhabited by indigenous peoples. Argentinian troops killed more than a thousand Mapuche and displaced over 15,000 more from their homeland. independent Argentina branded it as a civilizing mission. I hope we now all agree it was genocide. With the land now cleared, the Argentinian government divided up around the Nahuel 
Wappy Lake here, which it gave away to European immigrants. Many of them were German, escaping poor conditions in 19th century Europe. And the Swiss came too and established Colonia Suiza on a piece of the stolen land. So after World War II, Bariloche became an obvious choice for Nazis to come and settle with other German immigrants who were already here. It wasn't just the Nazis who came here. Luckily, other Europeans brought their chocolate making skills, establishing Bariloche as the chocolate capital of Argentina. Finalmente sepan que el gobierno argentino, la Corte Suprema de Justicia, en 1995 falla a favor de la extradición. Él fue extraditado a Italia y en Italia fue juzgado por este crimen y fue condenado a cadena perpetua en prisión domiciliaria en Italia. Algunos pensaron, si había uno, el que nadie sabía, quizá hay otros o había otros. Y la verdad es que había otros. Vamos a ver.